you're a public entity in a wastewater treatment facility, um, or you're an operator of a wastewater treatment facility where you're bound by the laws of uh, public bidding and low bid situation, um, you'd be looking for a contractor that has um, great history, has uh, lots of qualifications, has a good team behind him, has um, a set of testimonials from his customers uh, that say that not only does he do a good job, he does an exceptional job. Um, you'd be looking to talk to your engineering firm that's putting together your specifications uh, at you know what contractors have they worked with in the past, how much experience do they have, and can they work with those contractors to help develop your spec and make it a little bit better, a little bit higher quality than some of the other specs that are out there that just allow anyone who has any sort of industrial painting experience come in and maybe do something that they haven't done before at your facility and possibly do it in a way that's going to make it so that it doesn't hold up as long as it probably should hold up with a good quality contractor. So looking at uh, training, um, looking at work plans, looking at inspection plans, looking at uh, certified inspectors from the contractor to be on site so the contractor is auditing his own quality of work before the engineer is coming and auditing that quality. Those are some of the things that you'd be looking for and those are things that you absolutely can ask in your specification to provide at the time of bid. And if they don't produce it at the time of bid, they would be considered non-responsive or unqualified to do the work and they can be thrown out the next chosen, uh, you know, approved low bidder or responsible low bidder uh, could be awarded the project.